freight logistics industry. It's um, a relatively new industry in East Africa because um, the late 80s, there was only one logistics company in Uganda called Transocean owned by Uganda government. And we are struggling to operate in an unclear environment until we formed associations and um, tried to lobby the government of Uganda to set the freight forwarding industry free, allow private uh, participation. And when we did, it was not easy. Nobody understood, even in government, how it can be done that the private sector is collecting revenue for government. Until we said we have to change this image and we want to professionalize the business and that's what we are doing as Federation of East African Freight Forwarders Association. The clearing and forwarding industry is an integral part of our process. All the declarations made by the business to us are done by the agents on behalf of the owners of the goods. Some years back there was realization that if the agents do not know what to do, then it slows down the whole process. So we have been working very closely with them to improve communication and improve the training of the agents themselves. One of the major components of easing business in the East Africa community has been the training and professionalization of freight forwarders agents. EACFFC, that is East African uh, Customs Clearing and Freight Forwarding Certificate, which are issued in the East Africa member states in the training to the people who are attending this course. This certificate has been introduced to promote professionalism in the region, together with the, the revenue authorities in the region and the East Africa Customs Directorate, we established the curriculum and the training materials and the code of conduct and code of ethics for the freight forwarders in the region. We are preparing our people to work across the region professionally. The approach for Trademark is that we support our partners. We have found out that it is important that we first of all start by improving the skills and the knowledge of the key players in the logistics industry. We just started with the freight forwarders because we thought that uh, their role in fast tracking, cargo clearing and forwarding is critical when you have an overall objective of reducing time for cargo to transit across our main corridors. La formation c'était pour donner plus de capacités à ces agents en douane pour rendre un meilleur service à leurs clients qui sont les commerçants. Ici chez nous, il y a quatre personnes qui ont fait la formation. Il y a le premier, Naïman Sylvestre, il y a Nukuri Désiré, il y a Batoumanao Deo, en dernier lieu c'était moi, Henri José Katiabo. Donc, Les quatre ont déjà fait la formation, mais nous voulons encore une fois qu'il y ait d'autres certificats ici, hein, des autres qui n'ont pas encore fait la formation. The professionalization of clearing agencies in working with custom officials has helped in fast tracking of business delivery. We used to have what we call dwell time of cargo at the port of Dar es Salaam. We went as long as to 29, almost a month, to get your cargo from the port of Dar es Salaam. As we are talking today, the statistics which we have prove that that test is nine days. So moving all the way along from 29 days to nine days is because of professionalism and the automation of the system. L'objectif de formation a été atteint. Ceux qui étaient plus expérimentés que d'autres ont acquis des théories qu'ils n'avaient pas. 
evidence of the improvement level has been provided by the testimonies of satisfied clearing agents as well. Avant la formation, on faisait les déclarations par hasard, on tâtonnait. Alors que maintenant qu'on a fait la formation, on sait comment classer, on sait les sous-régimes à utiliser, on sait aussi comment défendre nos dossiers, nos déclarations auprès de l'administration douanière. Une déclaration en douane, c'est un document qui a beaucoup, beaucoup, beaucoup d'occasions. Auparavant, on tâtonnait parce qu'on savait ce qu'on devrait faire, ce qu'on devrait mettre ici ou ici. Mais aujourd'hui, on a tout appris. Hein? C'était une formation en rapport de notre profession de déclarant pour les uns, de transitaire pour les autres, pour les transporteurs aussi. Pour moi, c'est ma success story. The before and the after. Before, I was just, uh, let's say, a principal. Right now, I'm a head of a department. So from my knowledge, from the expertise that I have gotten in this training, it has earned me promotion. It has earned me knowledge. All these countries you go to, you're more informed. If I've lodged my document, it's something that could maybe take 30 minutes. Why is it taking an hour? Then I have a right to ask, why are my documents not coming back to me? That is the Naume within the training. Now, the Naume after the training is sure that I can tell the client, I need a parking list, I need an invoice, I need a bill of lading, I need this. Once I get all that, I present, I will not bother you. Your work is a done deal. So I go even to the client with confidence, knowing that what I want, I know. Come back to the officer with confidence, knowing that what I'm presenting, I know. There is an impact. We really appreciate trademark East Africa for that. Instead of clearing agent, they are delivering good services. We are using our clearing agent. It's a big company also, it's called Top Freight. They are all trained, they are competitive, they are doing self-commitment, but for the first time, it was very hard, like using water from the rocks. They used to delay. We normally used to put them on pressure. You send our exit not so that the truck can be released from the factory. So they are trying to catch up. That is a great challenge and great change they have done. It is saving time and money. The association is also engaging the business community within the five countries in sharing with them the positive changes that are shaping this integration process. Businesses, entities come together so that they can pull their voice together and be able to articulate their business agendas as one because there are common issues that affect them and that needs to be articulated at the one forum. And that's why FIFA came together. This industry is one of the pillars of the growth of the economy of the region because nothing can be done in the region without involving customs clearing and freight forwarding. Nothing. If you talk about the investment, if you, you talk about the infrastructure, if you talk about the development, all this comes through these freight forwarders because the freight forwarders are the people who are helping even collecting the taxes for the government. Such cooperation and partnerships between the Freight Forwarders Association and various government stakeholders from the region have created a more conducive business environment. Our role is to collect taxes. Clearing agents are our middlemen. They work on our behalf and they work on behalf of the importers. They're the link between us and the taxpayer. The Central Corridor will improve infrastructure in the region and easing the movement of people and goods. We are in the same business. What Central Corridor is doing is what is along the Northern Corridor. We work together with both corridors so that once the barriers are reduced, the time it takes to, for the goods to be delivered is much less. The citizens of East Africa are able to enjoy cheaper goods and which leads to the growth of the whole region. To many, the work of a clearing agent may seem highly complicated. From the time the cargo arrives in the port, we are supposed to start from when the cargo is in the factory and coming out. The role of a freight forwarder starts there, and from there, we arrange 
for the transportation after the packaging. We arrange for the shipment up to the sea, and of course, we do the shipment through the sea. Once the consignment arrived in the port, it's the owners of the clearing agents to liaise us with the agents of the shipping line, arrange the documentation, go through the port, go through the revenue authority, pay the taxation on behalf of the importers, collect the consignment, deliver, organize the transportation to the door of the consumer. That is the role of a freight port. This cooperation and continuous training program, the Federation of East Africa Freight Forwarders Association, FEAFA, has seen yet another seed planted towards the much anticipated African Union Confederation. <laughs> Sasa nimetamani kuja kujiunga na kozi ya tafa kwa ya kuongeza ujuzi. Zamani sisi hatukua na vitu kama ICD, lakini pia zamani hatukua na mfumo huu wa kompyuta wa utendaji wa customs. Tulikuwa tunafanya tu kwa papers, lakini sasa kila kitu kinakuwa kwenye system. Kwa hiyo... I've introduced the subject of customs tariff classification. This center it is very important to clearing agents, also for those who want to learn about the procedures of clearing and forwarding. are at the corner whereby you have to think further beyond the box to make sure that this program will not come to an end as this uh, trademark East Africa comes to an end for their support. We will continue to work closely with trademark, with FIAFA, with KIFWA, with the authorities, whether it's in Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Tanzania, wherever they are, to make sure that the economies of these countries prosper and we provide the logistic solutions that will make it simple and save money. In exploring the social, cultural, historical, and geographical interactions, doing business by bringing down borders in the East Africa community seems to be leading the way towards the envisioned African Union that the forefathers of this continent dreamt that they would see through this seed. We have a fantastic opportunity, it's a new dawn. I tell you, this region in the last 10 years is different.